Good morning, bro. We both know that Corvettes are special. Everybody loves Corvettes, and the people that deny it, they're secretly lying. They secretly love the cars. They're just afraid to admit it. The same way people are afraid to admit Hawaiian pizza slaps. And yeah, okay, may maybe not everybody's on board with that. Let's think about golden retrievers, right? You see a golden retriever and you automatically know that's a good boy. Same thing with the Corvette. You see it and you know it's a good car. And we all know this, you know this. So let me tell you something nobody's ever told you. There's actually a secret package called the RPO Z06 NO3 package. And I know the letter number combination kind of threw you off because you weren't expecting it. I just went right through it. But I could have made the video starting off talking about the history of the car, the engineers, the designers, what they ate for dinner. But let's be honest, bro. You don't give a shit about any of that. And you're probably not even going to remember all of that by the end of the video either way. So if you want Corvette story time, go and watch that. But that's not how I'm going to get down, bro. We're going to get right to it. There's a secret option you could have chosen for your Corvette that would have given it a 400 mile gas range. That's Prius territory. Man, before you get offended, I know nobody wants their Corvette being compared to a Prius. But hear me out, bro. It's 1963. You just bought one of the most beautiful Corvettes ever made. You're going through the build sheet and you're picking all the right things. You're going with the 327. You're going with the four speed Muncie transmission. You're going with the split window, the white wall tires. But the best thing of it all is that you could actually make your Corvette be able to go 400 miles on a single gas tank. Just picture that, 400 miles of bald eagles, freedom, tire shredding, and the Beach Boys cassette blasting. How is that possible? How could that be? If you were handpicking your Corvette build in the C2 era, you could have checked off option NO3. With this option, you get a special 36 gallon gas tank instead of the regular 20 gallon gas tank that all the peasants get, not you. So all the RPO means is that it's a more track oriented version of the CO6. And under that category, you get the special option of the NO3 package, which you can only get if you have a coupe. I couldn't find any specific data that claims the 400 mile range is for sure. I read somewhere that somebody allegedly got 350 mile range out of that gas tank and I'm gonna believe him for the sake of this video and I'm actually gonna be doubling down and I'm gonna say 400 because 400 just sounds sexy. It's only a 50 mile difference. If you're driving like a grandma, I'm sure you can get those extra 50 miles. So let's not worry about it for the video's sake and then just keep on going. You don't hear about an option like this on any other sports car, but shit bro, you don't even hear about this at all. This is such a unique feature. And to all my tea drinking fellas, the viewers outside of the United States, let me put this into perspective. Let me translate those measurements. So pretty much 36 gallons is the equivalent of 136 liters and 400 miles is the equivalent of 644 kilometers. Is that not crazy, man? This is gonna be even harder for your head to wrap around. You can drive 400 miles and still be inside of Texas here in the US. In Europe, you can be in Germany driving a nice M3 in the Autobahn, drive 400 miles, and all of a sudden you can be in France cramped in an ugly Peugeot, driving to those little alleys and shit. You take the wrong turn, you end up in somebody's living room. Big difference. I want you to take a closer look at this build shit with me. There's actually one more interesting thing. If you look closely, I want to talk about the Z01 package. This option says backup lights inside the rear view mirror. That's so freaking badass. But now that I think about it, the last thing I would want is to get flashbang when I'm trying to throw my stingray in reverse. So more commonly, I think this package was called the Big Tank, which makes more sense. Big Tank. This ain't no M1 Abrams, but it's kind of the same thing. If you think about it, American muscle made to dominate Europeans. The main reason why this package was offering Corvettes was a move with endurance racing in mind. They wanted to make sure these Corvettes had advantage in tracks like the Sebring, the Daytona, because if you think about it, more fuel means that you get to have your foot up all in the gas for longer, which translates less pit stops, which then translate to gapping all the ops. I would have been stoked if I was a race car driver and all of a sudden they tell me I can last a little bit longer with one easy mod. <sighs> I wish it was like that for me. Sometimes it's not just about being fast or lasting longer. For some people, bigger is better. And that's exactly what my man's Mickey Thompson wanted. He actually took his 63 Corvette, he slapped the 427 in it, he made it lighter, but more importantly, 36 gallons were not enough for this man. He actually bumped up those rookie numbers and he got himself a 50 gallon gas tank 
and he slapped that thing on his whip. He was all go. He wasn't stopping at no light. So another benefit that you got from going with the larger bald eagle juice box was actually better weight distribution. In order to fit this larger gas tank inside of this Corvette, they actually had to modify the fender wells, the body work to tuck it in and push it in even forward. That way they can achieve the perfect new balance. Pun intended. Manufacturers were so different back then, they completely had to alter and modify the whole body of the car for this package to be available. And you know how much they charge you for it? Only $202 with 30 cents. That's freaking insane. Nowadays, if you wanna buy a new car and let's say you wanna heat the seats on, you gotta sell your freaking left testicle. And even having inflation in mind, $203 was not that much money if you could afford a Z06 back in the day. Z06. I think I'm actually getting better at saying the Z's. I don't really do Z's because you guys take care of those because you guys be sleeping on our channel. I'm gonna be honest, I would love that option on my C6 Corvette because I'm tired of pumping half a rack of premium just to boomerang back to the gas station at the end of the day because my shit gets thirsty. A 36G tank will help so much because it's pretty much twice as much as what I have right now. My LS3 build right here doesn't need AAA anymore. It's freaking bulletproof now. What it does need, it does need double A because it's got a drinking problem for sure. On a light Monday, I can maybe get 200 miles out of a full tank. That's Lamborghini MPGs. I don't need no V12. I guess my cam LS3 will do. Think about this. A freaking G-Wagon gets better fuel economy than my car. And a G-Wagon is a whole ass box. Ah, man. If I had the 36G tank, things would be so much different. If I had that tank, I'd probably be racing across country and not on some cannonball shit. I'm talking about some need for speed to run type of shit. I'd be hooning across country. I did, however, just think of the downsides of having this bigger tank. It's not all sweet, so think about this. If you have the increased weight on the back, I feel like the suspension is gonna sag a little bit with the full tank, which will make you look like you have two bodies in the trunk of the car, and people are gonna think you got the special Jeffrey Dahmer edition. Or even worse, people are gonna think you're doing the Carolina squad on your Corvette, man. That's, you can't let that happen, that's brutal. So if I was rocking N03 on my C6, I'd claim it as a dependent on my taxes at that point. I can't imagine paying $250 to fill up my gas tank. That's about as much as I spend on coffee every week. I know you're an elite driver, bro, so you got my back, but there's actually gonna be a good amount of passive viewers in this video, and I know what their simpleton brain is thinking. They're gonna be saying stuff like, why would anybody want a bigger gas tank on their Corvette? Bro, just get a minivan. Bro, shut the fuck up. Close your freaking fifth incognito tab get outside and go drive a Corvette. It's so annoying having to go to the gas station so often, especially when all the gas station driveways are built like San Francisco streets, they're so freaking steep. So the more amount of times I get to avoid scraping my carbon fiber lip, the happier I am. And I got elite drivers that actually track the Corvette and in a heartbeat, bro, they would choose this option to get more fuel, to get more track time. And at the same time, Get better weight distribution, bro. Of course they'll take it. Not a lot of people bought this option when it first came out. In 1966, only 66 of these Corvettes were built. That's super, super rare, bro. That's almost the equivalent of finding a completely stock S13 for in the 13K. Corvettes with this option did not sell that well. And I think the reason behind it is that it wasn't marketed so much and people weren't out there bragging about their big tanks. I feel like people back then were more concerned with drag racing than they were with circuit racing. It was just different times back then, man, what, what can I say? Back then, drag racing meant something a little bit different than what it does today. These cars were so rare that I actually saw one of these sell for $850,000 at an auction. Where actually it was more like 953k out the door, which is pretty much a whole ticket for a Corvette. That is just freaking insane. And I really want to tell you the name of this auction, but honestly, I don't trust myself pronouncing it properly and I don't want to get demonetized. So it's this auction right here. So finding one of these cars is going to be like finding a needle in a haystack. It's going to be really difficult. But if I find one, me personally, I know what it must do. I'm going to challenge gears and gasoline on a standoff. It's gonna be the NO3 vet versus their inside. And we're gonna go mile for mile, MPG for MPG, short king for short king, and the winner takes all, man. We are racing for pinks. I'm ready to get that inside, man. I've been, I've been wanting one of those for a while. I don't even think they have that inside. I haven't been on YouTube for a while. But if they do have it by then, and if I manage to steal the right, and if I manage to find the right one, it's gonna go down bro there's no way around it so that was the big secret and if you already knew about this don't hate in the comments i mean i obviously entertain you enough to watch this far so just like the video man you lost you take the l i take the like we're gonna end it like this bro see you next week let's go